here's Miss Beezy. You wanna go to that with me? You wanna go? Oh goodness, yes, let's go. Addie and I are getting ready to head out to her horseback riding lesson. And since the last time we showed you her riding lessons, a lot has actually changed. You may remember that we started leasing a horse named Vinny, but what happened? We don't I have Vinny anymore, do we? Yeah, I got Beezy. We've got Beezy now instead. Yes. We were leasing Vinny, a new horse that the farm had just received um, where Addie rides. And after about a month of riding with Vinny and working with Vinny, Addie's instructor decided that she didn't really think that Vinny was the best match for Addie. And there were a couple reasons for that. He had a few quirks that they weren't really aware of um, when they first brought him to the farm. He was really strong and he tried. sometimes he tried to dodge the jumps that we tried to jump over and I didn't have enough leg muscle to push him into the jump and that could become a bad habit for him to keep dodging jumps. Right, and you really tried to work with him but we just didn't quite have the leg muscle for that, did we? Yeah. So now Addie is doing a lease, a one year lease for um, Beezy and Beezy is a pony that they actually have at the farm. Yes. So what's the difference between a pony and a horse basically? A pony is I think under 14 hands and a horse is above 15 hands. So it's basically just height. Yes. Now we're gonna head to the farm so that you can have the opportunity to meet Beezy. I think you're gonna like her. Beezy is a gem. She is so gentle. She's a lot more cooperative and she's, she's also a lot more experienced. She's even been to the pony finals. So I think I'll be able to learn a lot from her. That's right, Beezy knows what she's doing, doesn't she? Yes. Here's Miss Beezy. Beezy, you are pretty cute. <laughs> She's right about your size, Addie. Yeah. <laughs> Just to clarify, we did not buy a horse. Addie has been riding for two and a half years pretty regularly, so she's really into it, but we still don't feel like we were at the point where it would be wise to make that commitment. So the farm that Addie rides, it actually owns these horses. Um, they own BZ, they own Vinny, and we are just leasing Vinny for a year. So they provide all the care because they're experts at that and we are not. And Addie gets to ride Vinny. We actually have a half lease, so you share it with another student, right? Yeah. So Addie gets to ride BZ um, a few days a week and the other student gets to ride BZ a few days a week. And then Addie can stay here at the barn all day and then learn all the different aspects of caring for horses. So it's been a really great learning experience for her. Vinny is actually still at the farm, so whenever Addie comes to ride BZ, she does go to give Vinny some pets and some love. He actually has some new students who are leasing him, who are a little bit more experienced than Addie, so I think they found some perfect matches for Vinny, and I think Addie ended up finding the perfect match for her with BZ, so I think all turned out really well. What do you think you're gonna be working on in your lesson today? Maybe some more cantering and jumping. Yeah, you've, Addie's gotten pretty good at the cantering and the jumping, actually. You've come a long way, girly. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to do it with Beezy than it was with any, right? Yes. Last lesson, which was on Thursday and today's Saturday, um, we were cantering without my stirrups. And my legs are still sore from it. <laughs> I bet so. Let me tell you, they get your legs sore. <laughs> My sister and I grew up dancing. We did ballet, tap, jazz, I even did points, and we danced for years. It was our thing, and I tried so hard to get the girls to love dance as much as I did as a child, but it just wasn't their thing. And when Addie approached me a few years ago with this interest in horseback riding, it would have been so easy to dismiss it um, because I knew nothing about it. But I'm so glad that I gave her the opportunity to explore it because it's really become a passion for her. She's been riding for about two and a half years now and she spends multiple days at the barn, rain or shine. She never complains about coming. I often drop her off on Saturdays and she'll spend the whole day here helping with lessons, riding horses, doing chores around the barn, and just gaining so much knowledge. Is 
it's really been fun as a parent to see this passion grow and I'm just so glad that I gave her this opportunity. And even if it only lasts for a few years and she moves on to something else, I feel like she's learned so much through this experience. She's learned the importance of hard work, commitment, just dedication to something, and a compassion and care for animals, which is incredible. We're really, really proud of her and just how much she has given to this passion of hers. Easy make a mess, Addie? Yes. <laughs> I love that Addie's lessons aren't just about riding ponies, but you have to actually pick up the poop too. I think there's something to be learned and some valuable lessons there. How was the lesson, Addie? Awesome. <laughs> I can tell she always has a giant smile on her face when we're at the farm here. They make her work hard because when you're with horses, it's not, you know, they're a big animal, so I really, value that they are really big on safety here and that they really make sure the girls are doing what they're supposed to be doing and that they are working hard. It's nice to know when I accidentally dodge jumps, it's my fault because BZ loves jumping and she just brings me right towards the jump. Yes, BZ is a really good pony. She knows what yes. she's doing, doesn't she? Yeah, she's been in pony finals and she's really cute and sweet. <laughs> I feel so fortunate that we found this farm because while we're learning a lot about horseback riding and horses, we've been able to surround ourselves by people who are a wealth of knowledge. We have incredible instructors here. The owner of the farm has just been tremendous, tremendous support to us and they let us ask a million questions and they are here to help Addie especially grow in her knowledge and love of horses and it's just priceless that we have such wonderful people surrounding us through this journey. Those are some muddy boots, Daddy. Yes. Everything gets muddy. <laughs> what did we get in the mail, Maya? What did you find? Cats versus pickles. Cats versus pickles? This is Sandy. Really? No, this Sandy? is Sandy. Aw, there's one named Sandy? Do you know how they came up with cats versus pickle toys? No. Do you know, Annie? No, I how don't. How they came up with cats versus pickle toys? No. I think they were popular YouTube videos where they would put pickles near cats and cats would be freaked out and scared of the pickles. Oh yes, I saw one, a video like that. Did you see like one that. of those? Yeah. <laughs> so those videos, I believe, inspire this whole toy line of cats versus pickles. Those are cute. Ooh. Now, Sandy, come here. Sandy, I'm going to take you somewhere. Where do you think you're going, Sandy? Where's she going, Addie? She's going to the vet. She's going to the vet for a weight check. When I took Sandy to the vet for her checkup about a month ago, we learned she has to go on a diet because she was getting a little too heavy and it was going to be unhealthy for her because she's a big dog. We need to make sure she's at a healthy weight so that her bones don't get injured. So we've been really good with Sandy and we've been trying to only feed her what we're supposed to feed her and really trying to keep the table scraps to a minimum. She's been getting pretty skinny. She has and it's tricky with Sandy because she's a counter surfer. Yes. Which means she likes to jump up on the counter and steal food all the time, doesn't yes. she, Addie? Yes. If she can't get it like that, then she'll go. She'll put her paws up on the counter and grab things with her paws. She's very skilled at counter surfing. Yes. So we have been very diligent about making sure that she does not steal food from anybody. So I'm hoping we're gonna take her in for a weight check. We're gonna find that she's making some good progress. Yes. You ready to go, Sandy? You wanna go to the vet? Yes. You wanna go to the vet? Look at me, do you wanna yes. go? Oh, goodness, yes, let's go. Let's go to the vet. Let's see how much you weigh. Yeah. Today. Oh, we're excited, we're excited. Yeah. Just took her in. The pets are going in by themselves because of COVID. Last time we brought her here, she was 97 pounds. And our goal is to get down somewhere to 80 pounds. So we'll see how much progress we've made so far. All right, Cindy, back in, back in, come on. Woo, there you go, girl. She's lost some weight, this pretty girl has. She's at 90.8 pounds. So we've lost a little over six pounds, which means we are moving in the right direction. I think Addie, Maya, and Colin are going to be so proud of you, Sandy. I think they will. 
You ready to go home now? You ready to go home? Okay. Okay. So how much do you girls think Sandy weighs? Like 80, 80, 90 pounds. 90, you guess 80. What does daddy guess? 102. 102, <laughs> that would be moving in the wrong direction. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> 90.8 pounds. Whoa. Addie was the closest. You're I'm pretty close, Addie. Progress. We are making progress. Lots and lots and lots of progress. You're doing good, girl. You're doing a good job. We're proud of you. Daddy, Grandma, Grandma, come in. Come on, Grandma, come in. It's snowing. Who's on their way right now, Colin? But I don't know. Who's on their way? Yes, you do know. I don't. Yes, you do know. I don't. Yes, you do. It's not Grandpa and Grandma. It's not Grandpa and Grandma? I think it is. Jason and Addie have gone to the airport to pick up my parents. Yeah. Yeah. And I think they're on their way home now, Colin. Mm -hmm. How excited are we? Yeah, super excited! It's a perfect house. I was trying to think of the last time my parents have been out here together, and I want to say it was Halloween 2019, which is over a year ago. So it's the first time they've been here in a while. They are flying all the way from California across the country, and we couldn't be more excited to have family in town. What do you want to do when Grandma and Grandpa are here? Dance and dance. You want to dance with them? I bet they love to dance with you. Let me see your move. Love it, Colin. Maya, what do you want to do with Grandma and Grandpa when they get here? Do an art competition. Oh, that sounds fun. Grandma's always on for an art competition, isn't she? Yeah. And you have no idea what's happening, but you're gonna be excited when you see who is here. Sandy goes especially crazy when my mom is in town because my mom spoils Sandy just like she does all the grandkids. She yeah. gets lots of treats. It's gonna be hard because we're gonna have to tell her no treats for Sandy on this trip. But Sandy will get lots of love from her still. Won't you, Sandy? You guys think you'll be able to see them better with the window open? Yeah. Because, yeah. because when you're out there, you have to like go to the front entrance, but you can stick your head out. <laughs> hey, it's Daddy! Are they here? Yeah! yeah. Oh, yep, yeah. there's yeah. the truth! Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. mom's going down! Daddy! 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 I wait up! Yep, Sandy's excited for Grandma! 